entrepreneurship motivator in 2019 and best innovation ambassador in 2021. Mr. Satyanathan has undergone innovation ambassador training conducted by MOE's Innovation Cell and AICTE. Right now, he is working as an assistant professor in Welltech Rangarajan Dr. Shaguntala R&D Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. A very warm welcome, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, am I audible to you? Yes, sir, you are. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Uh, Satyanathan today is going to uh, tell us to make us, uh, you know, introduce with the entrepreneurship skills, the behavior and attitude required for entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship these days I think is the uh, hot topic which we all should know what exactly it is. It is the demand of our. So I think this is the hot topic and we are ready for the innovative and interesting lecture. Over to you, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I uh, welcome KC group of institutions, staffs and students for this webinar. Uh, myself, Satya Nadan, Convener in Innovation Ambassador in Institutions Innovation Council, Vail Tech, Rangarajan, Dr. Sagundala R&D Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai. Okay, um, uh, today's uh, session is about workshop on entrepreneurship skill, attitude and behavior development. Okay, so um, that in that workshop, what you going to do or what you understand um and what is your expectation let's all discuss with this meeting and and you please interact with me anytime in this meeting okay before uh, going to the session first i want you to um convey these three things what you want to do after your graduation are uh, going to do a business or uh, going for a profession job or anything you are going for an employment or a job anything uh, which you want to do after your graduation what are you going to do what is your idea anyone please explain or anyone please answer for this what is your idea what is your expectation and what is your future goal Yes, anyone, anyone can answer or anyone can interact, please. I think after graduation, we all look for our employment career opportunities. What exactly we can do, whether it's job or it's entrepreneurship. So I think what that's the thing we look for. OK. Uh... If you don't uh, build your dream, someone will hire you to help build theirs. This is the famous quote by Dhirubhai Ambani. You all know that? So if you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to help build theirs. So dream something and aim for a good goal. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you definitely to build theirs. OK, so. From this quote, I want all of you to. Um, understand and the importance of. As an importance of career in your graduation after your graduation and importance of your studies after that uh, a point of view, right? So from this session, my objective is to motivate and encourage the students to know about entrepreneurship, technology and innovation and to encourage the students to utilize various public departments for entrepreneurship. So this is my objective of this session. OK, what is an entrepreneur? Who is an entrepreneur? What is the exact meaning of entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is a person who takes risk of setting up his own business venture for 
received rewards. He is a person who initiates the idea, formulates the plan, organizes resources, and puts the plan into action to achieve his goal. So he is called as an entrepreneur. He is a defined uh, words described by MSME Development Institute. So these are all the words given by MSME Development Institute. So entrepreneur is a person who takes all these kind of risks and uh, resources to put the plan into action to achieve his goal. So question to you all. The first question is education skills of an entrepreneur. Is that necessary education skills to become an entrepreneur or skill requirement for the job? Is that is this necessary or is MBA is a requirement for an entrepreneur or teaching and entrepreneurship is required? Is there any necessary to become an entrepreneur? Is there any skill to uh, become an entrepreneur? Is there any um, courses to become an entrepreneur? Is this required? Is the MBA is required? Yes or no? Right? Yes or no? Yes, someone please. Definitely skills to be developed, but is not at all MBA is not required for to become an entrepreneur, right? So your smart work and hard work to become an entrepreneur and what sort of point which you need for an entrepreneur is we are going to discuss in this workshop, okay? So what is the profile of an entrepreneur? How, how they will be identified? They will be identified as an achievement in the imagine, uh, imagine like you can say that uh, they will be achieved, they will be affiliated, they will be extension to work for an uh, work. So they will be understandable and they will be um, identifiable by a profile for an entrepreneur by their achievement or their affiliation or their extension of work, right? So what is the face of an entrepreneur? How they will work or what is the face of an entrepreneur? Definitely he or she should be an risk bearer. What do you mean by a risk bearer? The person who pays a certain price for a product to resell in an uncertain price is called a risk bearer. That, that should be the capability or capacity for that an entrepreneur should bear. Right? And definitely he or she should be an organizer. Which, what does that mean? Who unites all means of production, land on one, the labor of another, and the capital of yet another, and thus produces a product. Right? Definitely he should be an, he or she should be an organizer. And definitely he or she should be an innovator. What do you mean by an innovator? You know that existing products will be there, existing products or services will be there, but to set up a new product or new services, use our entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurs are use the process of shattering and status, status to use of that existing products and services to set up new products and new services is called, is, is called as an innovator, right? So entrepreneurs or innovators, when they are setting up a new products or new services from the existing one. So what's the role of an entrepreneur in this society? Definitely he or she should be decreased in gap in demand and supply. The generation of employment, low cost production, prevention of monopoly, adoption in, of innovative products, supply of skilled labor, increase in per capita income and quick production of new goods, inspiration to others 
and definitely increase in productivity to the cell system right so these are all of that entrepreneurship skill and them. so what are the characteristics of an entrepreneur characteristics definitely he or she should be commitment and determination to that particular work right and definitely he or she should be a leadership character opportunity opportunity in observation tolerance of risk ambiguity and uncertainty creativity self reliance and ability to adapt is the one they will uh, get an entrepreneur should have a character right so and then what is the motivation what is the motivation to excel on it right definitely he should he or she should be a hard working agent or hard working person then the entrepreneur definitely working on or he will likes the challenges and he moves on to a solving a problem in one point of view you can observe that problem statements from an industry or problem statements from an uh, from an institute or anything right so you all get an idea uh, in hackathons right so, so for example if you are going for a smart india hackathons definitely they will give some problem statements so what is called a problem statement if an industry given with a problem for to get a solution from the um, students or faculties or anyone right or, or an entrepreneur or anyone so if you are a student or if you are a faculty or anything you you will become an entrepreneur or you you can give an solution to that particular problem or you can a particular problem statements definitely that problem should be identified and that process and product should be worked for their sources so the industry definitely identify that kind of projects or a product and they will hire you and they will relate you with some kind of bonds or memorandum of understanding with you to develop their products also so the character of an entrepreneur in each way or in any way of understanding commitment to that particular type or uh, if we have if you are a, a, a leader or you, you have a character of create you have a knowledge on creativity or a problem solving skill definitely you will also become an entrepreneur what makes an entrepreneur is that people born in industrial families or minority communities or people born in business families unemployed youth or dissatisfaction and disrespect in present employment influenced by in-laws or anything government policies or purchase of sick units exploitation of heavy demand or people related to political parties what makes an entrepreneur anyone if if you if you want to become an entrepreneur what makes you an entrepreneur yes anyone please answer what makes you an entrepreneur or or how you want to become an entrepreneur what is your idea or if you want to become an entrepreneur what makes you for to become an entrepreneur if you are a student or if you are a faculty or if you born in a industrial family or a business family is that make you an entrepreneur or is that uh, influence make you an entrepreneur 
Is it so? No, right. If you if if you are if you are born in a business family or industrial family or in a minority community or uh, if anything, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you should have a commitment to that work, dedicated to that work, and hardly work on which you want to become or what type of work which is needed for you to become. Am I right? So. In this way, if we want to become an entrepreneur, first of all, dream high and dream what you want to be. Right? So, is that character or that characteristics of which we make for an entrepreneur? Right? Okay. So then what are all the identification of entrepreneurial skill which you have? Is there any skills or there? If you want to become an entrepreneur, you can also test yourself. Definitely, you have a. Uh, if, if you can understand, is that skill is with you or not? For example, bio data scoring key method. For example, if you are uh, preparing a resume, right, or a bio data, in that bio data itself says some identification of you. What is that meaning? If that is an, for example, if if you are very, uh, very much skilled on C, C++ or Java or anything, right? So then what you want to become? If you want a job or if you if you search a job in an IT company, definitely you will be placed. Am I right? So in that bio data, it's a bio data resume itself. The skill which required or the skill which you possess gives you an identification. Am I right? So that skill which uh, which proves you and which leads you to reach a goal or a reach a position. Then psychological test. What is mean by psychological test? Psychologically, if you if you understand or if you want to become an entrepreneur or if you want to become a uh, doctor or engineer or anything, right? If you, if you psychologically you want to become a one person, so identify yourself, your character, your ability from your psychological level of testing yourself. And then this TAT. TAT is nothing but thematic a perception test. Perception. If you are attaining or if you understand or if you want to become some uh, engineer or an, if you want to become an industrial person or if you want to become an entrepreneur, that perception and if uh, perceived level which you want to identify that skill you want to become that entrepreneur or entrepreneur skill and by ring toss game is that one and locus of control if you have a locus of control on yourself or if you focused and um, if a problem or if you know about yourself by proving yourself by proving or uh, making a product or a project to become a product or to become an entrepreneur in the control then group planning exercises for example 
if you are uh, uh, doing a group discussion with among yourselves in in your placement or anything right if you are uh, planning something or if you grouply working on it that skill in that group which you identify or if you makes a or or a team player or an entrepreneur how how you works for it how you work for a task right if you work on a group planning exercises in that group planning exercises how you are working how you are identifying yourself are a leader are you a leader are you a team player or are you are with anything or you are simply sitting and uh, moving on and, uh, to the work so that skill which you identify on a place leads you to somewhere am i right so that is called identification of yourself which leads to the entrepreneurial skills you know 10 commandments right in 10 commandments in entrepreneur skills i want you to discuss with you i want to discuss the 10 commandments of entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs with this in it to the session right so first commandment one first one is raise the capital when you don't need it if you know first commandment is this one raise the capital amount when you don't need it is it so and focus on a well defined limited business field definitely if you want to become an entrepreneur you have to focus on a well defined business field right this is the this is the second commandment third commandment listen to expert advice and don't hesitate to pay for professional services for example if you are if you want to become an entrepreneur in that field or in that business field someone may be an expert right so get or listen to the expert advice don't hesitate to pay for it the professional services or don't uh, hesitate to ask questions to them or don't hesitate to develop your skills on a particular way the fourth one is choose a team of professionals with you and don't compromise on the quality of matter why because the frequency has to be settled down right for example frequency what is the frequency if you are matching with the person of same knowledge or anything or same frequency idea of matters right so if you are working with the same frequency person or a team they will help you and you can also indulge to help with them right so choose that kind of team professionals with you and don't compromise on the quality of matter quality and don't compromise on if you are if you don't and uh, don't argue with the market right if if that in a society if you are working on a business or if you are if you want to become an entrepreneur don't argue or don't uh, hesitate to work on that field and don't perceive on that sixth commandment is develop a strategic business vision as early as possible and learn from your own mistakes 
if you want to become an entrepreneur or businessman definitely you should have a business plan or a business vision some someone uh, may think of vision and mission uh, do you know about what is a vision or a mission what is vision and what is mission anyone what is vision or what is mission yes someone anyone can answer is what is vision or what is mission okay so if you have a vision focused planning or proper planning towards in a period of time in a short period of time and a long period of time it, it deviates vision and mission goals reach right so if possible as early as possible you can learn from your own mistakes you can you can possibly understand your mistakes and you, you can also possibly identify your mistakes and you can also develop your plan or a strategic business or vision or a mission towards your goal or identify your problems the seventh one is enlist the support of your family and friends so if the family or friends support you enlist them because those kind of persons which will help you and which needs you on a difficult times right so same frequency persons right as as such of same frequency persons if they are a same frequency persons or same um, ideological and uh, supportive persons will give you a positive vibe right so that kind of positive ideation or positive uh, imagination towards a session which will leads you to achieve the goal towards your nature right okay and the eighth commandment is define correctly the leading edge of your product in the user terms for example if you are a user of your product think in a point of view of a user okay customer user or a customer customer point of view or we can say that user point of view think in that way or think in the how uh, customer thinks or uh, customer identify your product or customer uh, define your product so define correctly the leading edge of your product in the user terms ninth one stay in touch and learn from other entrepreneurs touch and learn stay in touch and learn from other entrepreneurs what does that mean if you are a entrepreneur a network of circle which will leads you which they understands and identify you in a way right so stay in touch with them and learn what they are doing and what they understand about their product and how will they uh, identify their product how they related to work on their product and how they leads to their product so if you understand that if you if you keep on communicating with uh, with that kind of persons and that kind of uh, identify uh, persons definitely you can learn something from them so every day is a learning process you can learn at least one thing in a day from your persons which you are which you want to become or which you stay in touch with that entrepreneurs and the 10th commandment is learn about the life cycle 
learn about the life cycle of entrepreneur and the business. So how that life cycle will be, how it leads to, where it leads to, and how that skill or development attitude goes beyond to that particular graduation or anything, right? So learn about the life cycle of an entrepreneur and the business and identify yourself. Is it possible to become that uh, kind of one or anything or how that will be? So these are the 10 commandments given by Leora Kazanskian for an entrepreneur. 10 commandments which you need, which you focused for an entrepreneur. Okay. Some myths are about entrepreneurship. Do you know that? Some myths are in entrepreneurship. Someone may say entrepreneurs are born, not made. Or we can, some, some people may say entrepreneurs are gamblers. Entrepreneurs want the whole show to themselves. Someone may say about this also. And entrepreneurs are their own bosses and completely independent. Some, some people may say, say like that. And entrepreneurs work longer, harder than managers in big companies. Some, some people may say like that. All right? Entrepreneurs work longer and harder than managers in big companies. And entrepreneurs experience a great deal of stress and pain. Some, may, some people may say that entrepreneurs experience a great deal of stress in their life and uh, pay a high price for their... Uh, a commitment of life or anything. Our entrepreneurs are motivated solely by the quest for the almighty rupee. They may, some people may say about uh, uh, define uh, entrepreneurs in this kind of words also. And some people may say entrepreneurs seek power and control over others. If an entrepreneur is talented, Success will happen in a year or two, right? They may, some people may think, uh, some people may say like that. If an entrepreneur has enough startup capital, he or she can't miss that. And entrepreneurs are lone wolves or yeah, and cannot work with others. Some people may say some something like this also. They they can uh, definitely they are uh, uh, every time they are in alone and. Uh, they will be work on their own works and they they can't uh, uh, understand them. Uh, they, they can't be understandable and they cannot work work among, uh, they, they're not a team player or they cannot work with others. Some people may say about like this also. Or you can get uh, 600 plus of your SATs or GMATs or you can never be a successful entrepreneur. Some people may think or say can like this also. Not like that. It's it's all, all myths of entrepreneurship. Everyone can understand, or everyone can uh, can be an entrepreneur in their life if they are dedicated to become an entrepreneur or not. Right. So, what will be the risk and rewards if you want to become an entrepreneur? Financially, the risk, financial risk, what are the risks and rewards? Become poor or becomes rich, winds up business in financial rewards. If we uh, rewards this, expands your business, goodwill is lost in the risk, and if uh, rewards will be goodwill increases, right? In personal view, pessimism or optimism. And no importance by family members, no value. Someone may say, say that. These are all risk will be happen if you want to become an entrepreneur. Not like that. Full importance and respect by family members also. Treat like a leader. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you can be a, a best among the society. Your status will be increased in the society. Definitely. 
in the career point of view you can say that uh, this someone uh, will say these are a risk uh, no one likes to join with you or uh, loses the employment or he definitely you will lose the employment opportunity if you want if you become an entrepreneur or uh, if you focus on entrepreneurship skill or anything and he will not take challenges on defaults or other decisions so it is not like a, a risk it is not a career in your career everyone wants with you to join with you provides employment opportunities you can also provide employment opportunity to others definitely he faced challenges and involves mainly in decision making okay so you or a decision maker decision will be uh, taken at a time which is used for you to become an entrepreneur or anything right so entrepreneurship behavior and attitude should be uh, entrepreneur behavior is directly concerned with understanding right Uh, is it is very very concerned with understanding prediction and control of human behavior in enterprises so is that one uh, become an entrepreneurship skill an entrepreneurship behavior or attitude is directly concerned with this understanding prediction and the control of human being and entrepreneur behavior is nothing but this is a subset of entrepreneurial activities concerned with understanding predicting and influencing individual behavior in entrepreneurial settings right so chalahan is defined with an entrepreneurial behavior is a subset of all these activities concerned with an understanding so if there's a character what is the characters of entrepreneurship behavior and attitude definitely he or she should be behavioral approach of management and cause an effect of the relationship with these a uh, kind a branch of social science psychologically sociology and anthropologically we can define with that person and you can also understand three levels of analysis from that attitude what is that uh, analyze three levels of analysis means individual behavior analysis or inter individual behavior or with the behavior of organization you can understand the attitude or a character or behavior of an entrepreneur so as such science is as well as an art the behavioral knowledge and and uh, skills is an art right behavior is a knowledge and skills is an art which you want to become in that point of view so what is the role and importance of entrepreneurship behavior and attitude so definitely you have to understand the human behavior predicting the human behavior is an attitude which you develop to become an entrepreneur control and direct behavior entrepreneurial effectiveness motivation better human relations with the others then only this kind of attitude if we possess if we have definitely you will also become an entrepreneur right so these are the attitudes which possessed by an entrepreneur in their life or in their is an habit to the sensation so definitely if you have if you become if you have this kind of opportunity or if you have this kind of skill and attitude definitely you will become an entrepreneur so that's all my dear friends if you have that kind of skill entrepreneurship skill attitude and the behavior development with you definitely you uh, you will also become an entrepreneur okay okay so we'll take my institution we'll take tbi possess some kind of relationship with their ideas and support all the entrepreneurs in their own so if you if you are if you want to become an entrepreneur how well tech tbi supports we have a managed team by center of excellence nidhi catalyst and supports uh, supported by nst edp division department of science and technology new delhi 
we have a team which we worked on it um, in the thrust area of operation like manufacturing, 3D printing, e-waste management, digital services, electronics, ICT, everything. And we have 1,10,000 total space of available in the square feet. A number of companies that be physically incubated at a time is 100 at the present. At that time, you know, uh, 100 number of companies can be physically incubated in one time. And number of meetings is up governing by, uh, since inception, we have completed 22 meetings and we presented and we developed incubators to the world. In a decade of journey, we have Welltech TBI established in 2010 with the initial amount of 5 crore by uh, DST established with the incubation and e-waste management facility for that. And uh, established, we established in 2013 uh, full-fledged e-waste, bio-waste and additive manufacturing technology facility towards that in uh, 2013. In 15, seed money of 2 crores seed support to incubators will be available and we, sub we get a, uh, support from the government. And... In 17, 2017, we get Nidhi Center of Excellence of about 23 crores of funding to nurture entrepreneurs by supporting in the way of grant and also in the way of mentoring, facility support, mentoring support uh, by giving grants also. And 2018, Nidhi Praya scheme from the government Initially, they funded with seven crores funding idea to prototype grant. Is is nothing but if you have an idea, if you if that idea is become a prototype model which will be useful for the society, definitely you will be apply for Nidhi Praya scheme in the government. Welltech also provides Nidhi Praya scheme with them and having a fund of seven crore and giving their funds those who are needed and if they have a proper full-fledged idea to prototype and in 2020 mighty uh, tie 2.0 they will give a fund of 1.76 crore that is also idea to prototype grant so in that grant also you are eligible if you are eligible if your project or if you are a product uh, uh, if your idea if your idea is to become a prototype or a model or a or a, or a product which will be useful for the society definitely you can also ap apply for this grant then in 2021 sisfs there's nothing but seed fund scheme seed fund scheme that is uh, given by um, our DST in the five crore funding and grant and also seed fund, which will be useful for uh, starting a company or a or a, a, or investing. If you are if you are if you want a if you want to become an entrepreneur, if if you want a financial support, you can also be welcomed in this point of view. And if you uh, if we are available with a product, uh, idea to prototype model, what are the facilities and support in on innovation and entrepreneurship means? In definitely we have four active government supported schemes, six center of excellence we have, and DST, Mighty Startup India supports established uh, in our Welltech TBI. We also connects established with the industry mentors, investors and other academic institutions. So if you understand these kind of relationships with us, definitely if you want to become an entrepreneur or if you uh, invest or if you uh, understand your idea to a prototype, you can utilize yourself to become an entrepreneur. And 20 full-time members, which, which we called as innovation ambassadors, Innovation ambassadors are nothing but they are trained in Ministry of Education in a fundamental and advanced level of skills like promoting 
innovation, entrepreneurship, and intellectual property rights towards the society. So 20 full-time members, 20 full-time innovation ambassadors are here to promote you to uh, in the field of innovation entrepreneurship here. They will also give a mentoring support and guiding support. 30,000 square feet incubation space uh, for every incubatives is provided with this uh, is naturally available here and 13 crore thrust area equipments to be to support innovation and entrepreneurship only and 15 strategic partners are here to uh, to develop uh, to understand you to to guide you to support you in many ways so these are the infrastructure which we have processes the incubation space, office space, and trust area equipment, and uh, meeting room, the cafeterias, everything. Okay. On our trust area, we definitely we have a design and manufacturing process, e-waste process, additive manufacturing facility, um, SMD and SMT technologies, AI, ML, artificial intelligence, machine learning, everything. So, if you are startup. If we, if we have a startup idea in the range, definitely you will be also become an entrepreneur and we will also, Veltech TBA also support you to become an entrepreneur. So far, we have a record of number of startups supported uh, from the year 2012 to 22, which have in uh, different fields, in robotics, in food tech, in agri, in sports, in educational, electric vehicles, e-waste and plastic waste, biotechnology, manufacturing, IT sectors, everything. 65 internally funded and 18 raised their external funding, 75 in their market now with their product. These are all uh, 75 startups or uh, golden startups are here with their product in the market now. So the, they will promote, the, we will promote, uh, promote entrepreneurship interest among students, faculty, and uh, with the, um, with everything, if you want guiding or supporting or mentoring or uh, any type of generation level or any type of entrepreneurship level. So deployment, product development, tinkering levels, designing uh, solutions, but CDIO labs we have, conceiving, uh, living with society, what we have, idea of generations, and imparting entrepreneurship knowledge, learning by selling. We can learn by selling a product of how that critical knowledge in thinking, design thinking of a product. So we promote entrepreneurship interest among students and faculties, which we have a model in here. As I said, uh, strategic partners, Right, strategic partners are Google, Amazon, Exhibitors, and Zoho, Paytm, RBL Bank, Resilio, Epitrap, Vinos, Startup, uh, Baroda Bank, B of, uh, BOB, Bank of Baroda gives uh, customized offerings to startups, including from zero balance accounts to startup kit, which you need. Uh, they will uh, give up a startup kit like uh, Power Bank, Pen, Pen Drive, Cloud Credits. Uh, uh, cloud credits from IBM, Microsoft, uh, and also from co-working space, everything. And uh, EDII, Tamil Nadu is our uh, knowledge partner. Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, uh, everywhere, like uh, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, right? So in Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, here in Tamil Nadu, uh, we have a knowledge partner that uh, gives uh, idea of prototyping and uh, they will give, guide you in many ways in Entrepreneurship Development Institute in, Institute in India. And uh, Spark and Stanford, Vatvani Foundation, MathWorks, uh, Ramachandra Medical Center, uh, they, are, uh, they are giving us uh, 3D printing support. They are, they are they give, uh, supporting us in the MOU with uh, um, 3D printers. They also benefited from their point of view in such a way. And COVID, now Kaveri Hospital, is also uh, uh, collaborated with us uh, for a memorandum of understanding. And they are the partners, strategic partners of Veltech TBI for incubating startups. Okay. 
so if you want to become an entrepreneur definitely you will be and you want to become an entrepreneur in if you possess this entrepreneurship skill idea and attitude and behavior with you to develop okay these are all from my advice and these are from my session um in this workshop if if you have if you possess these kind of uh, skills with you definitely you will become an entrepreneur right okay so from this 10 minutes for you to, to for your queries i will be here is there any queries i will be welcome to answer your queries ravneet are you on the line yes sir yes i am here thank you so much for the today's session i request all of you if you have any queries regarding today's session you can ask uh, mr satyanathan he is here with us to answer all the queries while having uh, giving some time uh, to think about the queries i would like to tell all of you that today's session was very interesting and we have learned a lot about entrepreneurship skills attitude and behavior mr satyanathan has discussed with us the importance of career what career opportunities should we adopt or what is the importance of that while choosing he also added that what could be the profile of an entrepreneur if you want to be an entrepreneur what could be your profile like and he further elaborated about the role what what is the role of an entrepreneur i mean what skills he should uh, you know develop and implement while having uh, in this journey further he also told us about the characteristics what could be the characteristics he should be motivated he should be hard working he should have the leadership skills and problem solving attitude which is very important further he told us uh, how we can identify our skills if i could be then entrepreneur or uh, successful entrepreneur how could i identify he further uh, gave, uh, gave us certain steps with which we can identify ourselves if we could be an uh, we could be a successful entrepreneur or not further he talked about the 10 commandments very elaborately he uh, elaborated every single commandment then he told us what what are the myths which are in this journey people think that entrepreneurs work uh, 24/7 entrepreneurship has uh, too much demand or uh, too much risk these are the certain myths which he told us about that further he talked about the risks and rewards which are in every journey i mean if you are in entrepreneurship skill, uh, journey or if you are in job or service there is always some uh, re risk and rewards further he told us about the behavioral attitudes what could be the behavior or attitude while being in this journey because every journey uh, you know seek a uh, uh commitment determination and lot of skills required so elaborately step by step he told us about each and everything required to become a successful entrepreneur and i am so honored and happy immensely pleased to uh, be a part of this workshop today sir thank you so much for that and uh, on behalf of our uh, worthy campus director dr rashmi gujrati our management of kc group of institution all the faculty members students and each one of us i want to extend a uh, word of thanks to you sir for uh, enlightening us with such insightful uh, such insightful session of today's and we are really looking forward for such more session so that we can equip ourselves with so much of knowledge and so much of skill which is required these days thank you so much for that sir Uh, thank you thank you very much for the opportunity for kc institutions uh, for this wonderful workshop on entrepreneurship skill attitude and behavior development to the kc group of institutions students 
I uh, I thank each and why everyone, and uh, I um, I thank personally uh, Rashmi Ma'am and Ravneet Kaur for this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much to all the benevolent participants who had been here uh, with the, so much of patience and heard about all session. Thank you so much, everyone. Any feedback of this session? Any feedback um, other than uh, is any any personal feedback about this session? So it was nice listening to you, but I would suggest few of some more examples from running industries like uh, we can say the Rion brands. Yeah, OK, thank you. Thank you very much. OK, okay guys. OK, thank you. Thank you all. And thank you all for the participation in this workshop on entrepreneurship skill, attitude and behavior development. Once again, we will meet in another beautiful session if possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.